A hundred years ago, the air service was just beginning, uh, a service that would defend and protect the skies of America, and it all started there. People have to look at this as the infancy of aviation. Everything they did was the first time, and they really many times didn't know what to expect. Uh, so it took a lot of courage to push the envelope. Them guys that flew these things back then had to be daredevils, and they had to be good pilots, you know, of course, they, they was trained in them to be. So, you know, very adventuresome, I'd say, to even get into one of these back then. There's about 50 of them in existence, hanging from ceilings or on floors. But in the world, there are only seven of them that currently are flying. To build one of these airplanes, it's amazing on so many levels. <laughs> it's amazingly frustrating because there's no list of, well, this is what you do next. If you see a Jenny or a DH-4 wing uncovered, it is a work of art. Everything varnished, top of the grade, old growth wood. Beautiful and complicated. <laughs> All I knew is that the Jenny was an iconic airplane and it was something that seemed worth exploring, see if there's a possibility. And who knows, maybe one day I might be able to fly it. So, I'm getting ready to go, and I'm like, do I really want to do this? There are a lot of questions about what's about to happen. But the one thing that boosted what courage I felt I might need to take this thing off was the relentless number of hours, time, and commitment of all those that have come to bring this icon of aviation to this particular moment to see it in the air. And off we went, and it flew. You know, I've been asked, does the J have a personality? And it does. First of all, it's a lady. I can tell you that. But a lady like no other lady. She's pretty demanding. You can't take your hands off the controls or your feet off the controls because she just takes off where she wants. Uh, even if you're trying to control her, she all of a sudden decides she wants to take off a little, she can do it. I'm one person. The Jenny is a collection of people. But I tell you, I wouldn't sit in that cockpit if it weren't for this phenomenal team of people. Just like my landing. <laughs> yeah, you're still that high off the ground. To sit in a 26 inch wide cockpit that Charles Lindbergh learned to fly in, that Amelia Earhart learned to fly in, that Jimmy Doolittle learned to fly in, is just the wow factor. It is a privilege. I'm delighted to be coming to Scott. We're delighted to be coming to Scott. <laughs> delighted to be part of the 100th anniversary of Sky Air Force Base. And I count myself one of the luckiest men alive to be able to experience that and to share it with the rest of America.